I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. I'm Erin McLaughlin, and I'm a senior on the Castlea volleyball team. Last week, Erin uh, played in three volleyball matches. She had 37 kills. She had 64 digs. Uh, her big match was uh, against defending champion Menlo. She had 16 kills, 25 digs. Uh, the three wins last week uh, kept Castilea in the running for a possible league championship. And for that performance, uh, Aaron is the Palo Alto Weekly Girls Athlete of the Week. Um, something different this year, Castilea began this season as the defending state Division V champion. No Castilea team has ever done that before. Um, so you begin the season as defending state champs. Was that a lot of pressure going to every match that you had to sort of live up to that, uh, that state championship uh, that you won last year? Um, I don't think it's um, that much pressure because every year at Castle that I've been here for the volleyball team, it's always been a new team every year. So we kind of go in with our own goals and we're not really thinking too much on the past year, even though that was great and it definitely fires us up and we want to do it again. But um, we have a lot of young players who weren't there as well, so that brings a new dynamic and just overall it's a different team. But we're, we use that as sort of like inspiration for the season. It's the beginning of the season. Castilea historically has gotten off to slow starts last season on the way to winning a state championship. They were 1-9 in the West Bay Athletic League Foothill Division. Uh, overcame that. They went into CCS with a losing record. Uh, they finished the season 19-17, uh, and 17, even with the state championship. Uh, this season you're off to a much better start. Uh, any reason for that? Um, I think it's uh, an overall team dynamic. Um, everyone has their different strengths and we're a bit more balanced this year and I think because we have um, younger players it, there's like this um, new energy sort of that's on the team and I think we all kind of go out there and give it our all every game. This season uh, you have, uh, again everybody's a year older, you've got uh, uh, Hannah Bolin, who's uh, a sophomore this year, she's 6'1". You've got Laura Rose, she's a junior, she's 6'1". Uh, again, just the experience uh, of being a year older is, is helping? Yeah, definitely. I think always um, you improve over a year, you just become more, um, you become smarter on the court. So uh, everyone um, from last year has really been stepping it up. Opening this week, Castilea is 13 and 9 overall. They're 4 and 2 in league. Uh, what's the outlook for the rest of the season? Um, I think we're taking it one game at a time. So, I think it looks very good. We've already we're doing our records way better than it was last year. So, I think we can only go up. And I don't think we've even hit our peak yet. So, I'm expecting to hit our peak at just the right time. Which would be CCS and hopefully NorCal and maybe a return to the state championship. Yeah, that's the plan. Well, good luck the rest of the way. Congratulations. Thank you.